Hey guys, I was at the airport this morning at an AOPA meeting and they were talking about air spaces. And a friend of mine said, have you ever been to 10,000 feet? And I said, you know, I've never flown the Cub to 10,000 feet. I think the highest I've ever gotten the Cub is about 6,000 feet. So it gave me a good idea to, hey, let's see if I can get the Cub to 10,000 feet. Today's a beautiful afternoon. It's about four o'clock, no clouds, 50 mile visibility. It's a great time to to see if I can hit my record. I think my highest is 6,000. So let's see if we can get 10,000 today. If we're going to 10,000 feet, I gotta make sure these doors are shut good. Cause it's gonna get cold. Yes, it's gonna get cold. We're going to taxi out here a little ways, guys, and uh, check it out a little bit, and then we're going to climb, climb, climb. Sitting on the ground, I'm at 11.50. So we just got about over 9,000 feet to go from the ground. We are climbing at 55 miles an hour, and uh, it's going to take a while. I calculated probably uh, 20 minutes to get to 10,000, if I'm lucky. Guys, we're at 8,000 feet. We're at 19 minutes and 34 seconds into the flight. Uh, we have uh, 45 miles an hour right now. And I am directly over the runway. 22 minutes into the flight. We're at 50 miles an hour and we're at 9,000 feet. thousand feet going 45 miles an hour in a J3 Cub. How cool is that? Harvey's on. Uh, my instructor said to really get a feel of a spin, you have to do a minimum of eight. So, I'm going to pull it back to 1500 RPMs. I don't want to pull it too much. And this camera will be watching my airspeed. We're going to count the spins off. And uh, hopefully we do eight. Let's see what we do here. I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to give it left rudder. Left rudder. And we're going one, two, three, four, five. Guys. I don't know how many that was. I lost count. But I'm going to tell you we're at 9,000 feet. We only fell 1,000 feet. But um, I got a little bit scared. I, I guess because I left about um, 1,500 RPMs in it, I didn't want the motor to die, that we went into a flat spin. Um, that's what I could. What that's what I call is a flat spin. Um, I think if I'd have been maybe a thousand RPMs, the nose would have stayed down. But guys, the plane went I think flat, 
And when I went to neutral, neutral the stick, push down, I was pushing forward down on the stick and opposite rudder. And I think I went around at least, felt like two more times before it came out. I have never experienced that ever, ever experienced that. I think I'm done for spins for today. Um, wow, that was a weird feeling, a flat spin.